I got a family to feed, so let's get into this. T Honey Sauce is putting up the tree. What's going on, cuh? What's happening? It's the Edge of Reverend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he can't curse the first 30 seconds, y'all. Right, and I almost <laughs> slipped up. <laughs> yeah, we, we about to get into Messy Monday, you dig? I haven't reacted to the last three, um, simply because... I, I, it be a, I've been untalked about all the stuff he talked about, but we just going to get into it because y'all love Messy Monday. And it's 32 minutes, so let's get it. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, lot, lot going on. it's, lot, lot going on. it's Monday, yeah. and you know what that means. Oh, I thought it was really if about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sit now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. POP, you can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, is you this how Messy Monday is? Oh, it's really nothing going on. Can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. Who are you doing? I know y'all like what the hell is going on. Well, it wasn't a lot of shit going on this week. I guess everybody was in a thankful and loving spirit because it was Thanksgiving holidays. But um yeah, when a lot. So I'm like, look, let me just put this in one. I need to get this light down. I told him, bitch. Come on. I need a light. <laughs> so since everybody was, you know, kind of good, I was like, let me make this into like a mukbang messy Monday so we could just sit here and keep Ken and cackle. Oh, this look good, but the cooks. <sighs> this ain't what I get. So what are we talking about? What this is, is that? This is not what I get. I wouldn't want that at this all. This is not what I get. This is not what I get. I get the one with the egg. That just hurt his spirit. No, nah, that shit look nasty as hell. Do you see it though? I, I see something different. Cause I don't understand what y'all taste buds looking like. Cause I would, I would tear that up. <laughs> I just that shit, Cause that shit look like <laughs> Salisbury steak salmon. That look like a salmon to me. Okay, I ain't seeing On it. On top of a salad, <laughs> clearly. That you a smash. I tear it up. <laughs> I tear it up. <laughs> Yo, I'm I pissed. I get the one with the eggs, the bacon, the mangoes. The... Mm, that sound better. Do you see? You see what I'm saying? That does sound better. Anyway, before we start Messy Monday Mukbang, uh, let me give a shout out to my friend, and that is Tia. <laughs> Bitch. Tia, thank you so much. You have my post notifications on. It means so much to me. I know that I'm a little angry right now because one thing you don't do is play with a motherfucker's food. I like my food. I'm thinking I'm going to get eggs, bacon, mangoes, bacon bits, salmon, just, you know, the fuck what. Everybody go follow her. Give her some likes. Show her some love. Huh? And just, you know. She said my standards are low. No, I don't have low standards. I'm just not hard to please. I ain't gonna lie. That was that was that was rude. Who said your standards are? Chrissy said, "Oh, Chrissy, standards that was is low. so rude." Damn. And then she gonna say, "I understand." That's crazy. Chrissy, that was I rude eat. as hell. I, you know, I'm just not picky. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just y'all won't fillet McNoggs on everything. You know. <laughs> Cool. That's the Salisbury salmon right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look like Salisbury salmon. <laughs> you know, once we're on that, but we are all one. Hey, bitch. Y'all, we made it through another week. Shout out to y'all and all y'all who made it through another week. See, I'm pissed the f off. See, we. <laughs> that's this is why he I say it's important to make it through the week because shit like motherfucking this <laughs> get you pissed the f off and you be mad about it. You go eat that. I want to go out there and knock somebody's head off just because I ain't got what I wanted. Like you don't Why do this you to my go food. Abuse somebody else. Play with me, but not my food. Don't play with me either. That look like some good old avocado rant, though. No you cow. Know, I'm so goddamn pissed. Gosh damn Real pissed. Thanks. Can't use his name in vain, but I'm so gosh damn pissed. <laughs> Fucking baked banana. <laughs> Who eats a plate of baked banana that's like a chip? 
I ain't wanna eat that. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all wouldn't even got the video because I was so pissed about that shit. I'm talking about would have started over when I went to go get my food right. Right. <laughs> Out of the holy. Di oh. Nah, hell no. Nah. Excuse. Excuse. Well, me. no, no, not me, cause my standards are low, so I would have ate it. Cause happily. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, with your standards so low, you would have sat there and ate that bullshit. I would have ate that happily. <laughs> and they wouldn't even known you was mad. Never about known that food. I got the wrong food. <laughs> What are we talking about? Hell no. Wake this shit up. A fuck banana. It's him not. I want a banana, really bitch. I would have went and got a banana. God is great. God is good. <laughs> Let us take him for this food. Buy your hands while we fit. Give us all my daily bread. My Lord is my shepherd. I shut up on. This is the food. This is what I got. <laughs> I didn't order it. Don't even be grateful. Be thankful. <laughs> Somebody that ain't got shit, they digging in the trash can. Sorry for the word, it's HIT. They digging in the trash can, looking for scraps. I got whole new food. So be grateful for this because you couldn't have it at all. So let it nourish my soul, this rabbit food, horse food, donkey food, food. Let it just be good for me, hamster food. Because at this point, I don't even food. want the food. Because the food ain't the food that I asked for. But God, you gave it to me, so it's meant for me to have this. Maybe I was going to get sick off the egg. Maybe the bacon was gonna be poor. Maybe the other <laughs> stuff that I wanted on the food was not. Oh, my tomatoes, my onions! Mmm, this hurt his oh, feelings. Just <laughs> the, everything. The prayer hurt his feelings. <laughs> Over it. In your name, amen. I would have took that bowl, threw it in the trash, and got something else. That's just, that's just spoiled. Spoiled? Spoiled. Cause no. let me ask you a question. I'm if you listening. ordered something that you paid for it. what you thought you ordered. I'm eating it. Uh-uh. No. Uh, See, that's uh, a that's... you you like wasting money. See, that's not what I need to do. It's not waste what no wasting money is throwing that out. Touche. But my point is I could tell them though that they made my stuff wrong. Then you now you check that at the restaurant. Yes. But now that we're at the crib, I'm finna eat this. <laughs> I ain't eating that shit. Ah, I, I'm eating it. I'm sorry. No, I'm not eating about that to shit. Throw that away. I ain't eating that shit. Especially after the prayer. Okay, y'all. Okay. Let's eat this Because that's going to go all wrong because of the prayer. The you prayer, know what I'm saying? The prayer was wrong, okay? It might be good. So I bet it's good. Let's talk about Corey and Carmen. Corey is saying. It look good. Hell. Now, Ain't now enough. he got cussed the other children. Saying, so in this situation, I win. My lawyer just called me, told me, hey, Corey, congratulations. You know what I'm saying? You've been approved, like you, you either gonna happen. So I'm just sitting here chilling and just like, you know, I so First of all, this is Cap. That's not how that happens. You actually have to go to court, especially for one parent to just win full custody. Yeah, you gotta actually go to court. Unless, yeah. unless she actually is not a U.S. citizen at all. Now, my thing is, he married her in order for her to be a U.S. citizen, which he did unlawfully, and he keeps snitching on himself. So, with that being said, uh, she should be a U.S. citizen. Ain't nothing get approved yet. He capped. I think he he did that to try and scare her or piss her off. So, cuz, you don't know the story. Basically, oh, Corey is married to Carmen. No, Carmen. They broke up. All right, uh, well, Corey wants to divorce her. He got to send her papers, all this other shit. But right. she won't let him see the chair. So he said that he was going to, you know, take her to court. Now, he spoke to his lawyer. He They did not go to court yet. But he just going to come out and say, the lawyer just called and said, I got full custody. They ain't went mm. to court or nothing. So I, I think he said that to, to get up under her skin because you actually got to go to court to win anything. You have to go to court. What? No, no. Actually, you don't. You can sit down with um, a mediator. I don't know if it's called mediator, but I do know you can sit down and you can come up with an agreement. Together? Two parents. Together, yes. Your lawyer talk to my lawyer if it's the fact that y'all can't meet face to face or you get your mediator, their mediator, and y'all meet up in one place. Y'all come up with something you can sign to say this, that, and the third or whatever it's possible to do it that way without having to go to court because not a lot of people want to go to court. Absolutely not. Uh, he's in Miami. She's in Houston. They ain't met nothing. They ain't so, been nowhere to get nothing. So they they did that in um 
uh, with their mediators then. So the mediators contacted each other and came and said, well, let's come up with some type of an agreement. Carmen probably said, well, in the meantime, in between time, while I get this citizenship stuff together, you can keep the kids. Hmm. We got to because, see. Because what you don't want to happen is you do take it to court and the judge have to get involved because then the judge going to be like, oh, look. <laughs> you ain't right, supposed but, to be here, Shaw. Well, no, not only Shaw ain't supposed to be here, they going to take him to jail because he married her to get her her citizenship. Got to be able to prove it. He already said it online. Yeah, but still, like, you still have to be able to prove it because you can say it online, but you can also go back and be like, we was really in love, which they sure. was doing the YouTube and all that stuff together. She got to be able to prove that they weren't in love, and that's going to be hard because who keeps It's not those her thing, reasons? though. It's his thing. He's saying right. that. He's saying that she used him for the citizenship, but they've been together for damn near 10 years. Yeah, it is. so it's over. You can't do nothing about that. That's what I thought. So yeah, he's, once he's he's gaslighting her with that, and that's just cap, man. I, now, I feel you on the mediator thing, but that would mean that her lawyer would have to have met with his lawyer, like you said. So we would have to find out if her lawyer met with his lawyer. But she ain't speaking about it. She is yeah, over his smart, ass. If she's smart, she would do it that way. Because taking it to court and she knows she's an alien... Especially even even if he do take himself down and say, I'm snitching on myself, I only did it so she can get citizenship, she'll still get in trouble. He'll still end up winning the kids. I doubt it because she's already a citizen. Not only that, she has American children. Back in the day, when a, when a woman had children in America, that gave her that citizenship to keep the children in America. So yeah. I thought they sent them back over and them kids was in the system. Nah. I, clearly, we need to look up our laws, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, Trump, yeah. <laughs> I kept quiet. And now I'm going to get my kids and have hey, my Nate, kids am I good? You know what I'm saying? No. And I need child support. So, straight up. Uh, what what the hell going on with these two? Give me, give me three more minutes. I don't even know what to believe them all because he said he got custody of the kids. And matter of fact, hit that thing, but don't just... You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then Two on minutes. his story, you posting up, my I ain't mom, seen mom, my children, I ain't seen them, thanks to my mama down. for sending me pictures. So which one is it? Have you seen them? Have you talked to them? Do you got custody? What's going on, nigga? What's I, happening with you and these children? And is everything y'all saying real? So I, I don't know. I'm a believer when I see the children in his, in his presence. But as of right now, Corey ain't got them damn kids. Corey got them damn kids. Corey ain't got them motherfucking kids. He really That's don't have them kids. Corey got them. And somehow I be feeling like Corey just be putting on for us. Like he be and then Corey moved to Miami and want kids in Miami. Or he moved from Houston to Miami. And first of all, especially in order for him to get them kids, he has to have room for them kids. Now, I don't know if he got a one-bedroom or a two. I think he got a one, though. But he moved out to Miami to get, like, a penthouse-style, you know what I'm saying, thing going on. So yeah. uh, he definitely would have to have space by law. But why would you move two babies to Miami and knowing what you was trying to do? You, you was moving out to Miami to be a bachelor. You ain't even... Child. Mm. That's a mess. Well, it could be for us. Wait, well, go ahead. It could be a publicity stunt. Mm. Publicity it could be a blunt, publicity nigga. stunt. <laughs> uh, it could, they could just be, you know, to make their sales relevant again. Because realistically, I mean, to whole live move. He whole live moved to Miami. She moved in her own place in uh, Houston. He had to sell the house and all that shit. That's that's worth that. Nah. Uh, well, not not worth they publicity. They also young. They also that's publicity blunt. That's crazy. They also <laughs> young. They also young and stupid. They kids raising kids. Yeah. So yeah, dude. They do, some do, rich do, ass yeah. kids these days. That's all. Rich ass. I'm talking about money I already. Make you stupid. But yeah. now you're talking about dumb ass, dumb ass money. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. yeah. They just stupid rich. Dumb on top of dumb. Yeah. To try to crazy. overshadow the shit he done did and the shit he got going on. Cause see, Carmen said. She would talk, but she ain't gonna talk because she just gonna let everything just play out. Cause she's like, you know what? I can say what I want to say, but I ain't gonna say now. 
How do you know when enough was enough? What? I feel like when I was getting irritated with everything, when I was bumping heads too much, when I started really realizing that I wasn't going nowhere. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> my enough may not be. Nigga trash said that this nigga doing a month to month till they get the new crib ready. <laughs> crib ready. I saw that. <laughs> nah, that sound about right. Your enough may not be my enough. I realized that <laughs> some twenty year old shit. You be like, you know what we gonna do? I know they gonna think we ain't sell the house. Shit, but since we want to stay in the house and move to Miami yep. for real, I'ma just month to month, you month to month till we get our mansion in, in Miami. Then we're gonna yep. be like, boom, we got our mansion in Miami. We about it now, yeah. <laughs> enough was enough. That's some when dumb shit. We was did. too much You're going right. on one. that it got to the point where I did one of my kids to just be with my mom. I feel like when people ask me how I'm really doing mentally, I just feel like I'm doing okay. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm still standing, I'm still breathing, I'm making things happen. I'm I'm making Brand. things shake. I'm doing okay. Brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing great. I'm not doing amazing. But I know that those days are coming. I don't have the energy to repeat someone's name that is constantly, you know, just... Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> How do you deal with uh, bashing you every day? I don't deal with it. I just don't. I can't lie, y'all. I be giving Carmen hell. But I will say ahead, this, I girl. am really proud of Carmen. Like, I, I oh. am proud of her because I know you're like, Uzo, just because you think Corey cute. Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm really proud of her because when enough is enough, that's when you leave. You can't make somebody leave until they're ready to leave. And so for Carmen to finally be at that point where it's like, you know what? This is enough for me. I, I, I'm done. I think she finally, like... I think she was there, but she was going through the motions. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> I, I, I believe Corey. I don't think Corey was all the way perfect, but I do believe Corey played a bigger part in a lot of this than what he's trying to make us think. I mean, I love Mr. Corey, but Corey comes off as a little arrogant. He don't like to listen. Not at all. It's his way on the highway. And that's how it is. Like, I understand, yeah. Corman lied about her papers and where she was from and probably used you to get over here. Whoa, but at the end of the day, lied she... Lied about her papers. Lied about where she was from. Child, it's given. I need to go back. I done missed that. So did they? Did he know she was... They was, they was getting married for... See, that's the part I'm not understanding. Because you said he knew it. Like, he, it's, he's saying it. Well, Back. because why wouldn't we have that conversation? That's number one. Number two, we were together for damn near 10 years. So that means he's been completely unhappy, but he knew that. You get what I'm saying? He probably didn't know. That's probably why he's exposing it. Because my mm -hmm. thing is, people don't be truthful. Cause. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? She probably was making it seem like she loved that nigga, but her whole motive was to get to the states but why stay with him? oh no he said he knew it they saying that in the comments he said he knew she lied and out she lied and out where she was from so she lied about where she was from she lied about where she was from okay so she he knew she wasn't from okay wait she no was... she he said she was he said she was puerto rican and then before they got married, he found out she was from somewhere else. Mm, I mean, but what so was that, the point of lying about that? Because even at that time, Puerto Rico wasn't considered the United States yet. Puerto Rico was in the United States for a long time. It has so. it? How long? 20 plus. Oh, shit. All right. My bad. So, 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 Puerto, so she probably had a motive to be a citizen. He probably really fell in love with her. And then she told him about it. But... I can see how that can make things uncomfortable, but they stupid still. <laughs> I mean, for real, I just uh, yeah. Like we so, we I've already taken an L. You've already taken an L. Well, we got two babies out of it. I mean, I don't know. I don't. She know. fell in love with you. No matter if she started off using you, she fell he in love with you. Her mom said she wasn't really. And happy she had two beautiful mom. kids she, by you. He just said the same you can't thing. Can't think all said. that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um. And then she still allowed you to do your things and cheat while she was with you. So you can pull this narrative of, oh, she used you to stay over here and everything started off as a lie, but it ended up in a, a beautiful family. 
And I think you're just trying to manipulate the situation to make it seem like it's her. Mm. I agree. I agree. Mm. I don't know. Okay, you, you so know, next you we know, got the... Uh, hold on. You know, it's really hard for guys to say when they're being used and abused in a relationship because y'all look at it like, you know, like if, if I say I'm getting physically abused by my girlfriend, she hit on me. If I was to call the police, I'd be a weak man, right? Mm -hmm. So he probably knew she was using him. It's hard to come out and say that from the jump while they're still together that he's unhappy. That's probably why he was doing this whole thing. This is my narrative. I don't know if that was the case or not, but it's probably hard to say that if... You know, he young. He, we in this era where men got to be strong and can't use their feelings and all that and alpha this and beta that and all that. So it's like, he probably didn't say that because of that reason. You know what I'm saying? Good. Maybe. So, I feel you. I'm looking on the other side of the spectrum because mm -hmm. it's like, Hold on. Everybody. My issue, I'm sorry. My issue here no. is if that is the case, then why you have, like, you get one baby eye, right, but another one? Pulling out is hard. Yo, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you, not you, you, worth that. Men are so stupid down there, bro. We That's are. That's stupid. Like, we you, are. so if you, from what you're saying, if you are already unhappy and all this other shit, you still put another one in her? That because it you when you're doing that you're not thinking oh we're gonna get another one right now because I'm sure as many times as he uh, shooting the club up that don't know but don't know instances come out so it's just one at the two times out of ten years is actually and let me tell you something else too, cuz the fact that they started making a YouTube channel and started making money he got something out of this he was happy for the money and to for the sure. point where he took all the money she don't get nothing she. They made that channel together, but right. now she has no money. Right. So, nigga, you got something from this, which means you use the situation just as much as she used the situation. Don't nobody care about none of that. I want my sob story to be as sad as possible because I don't want I want to feel like she used and abused me for all this time. So he can <laughs> This is why women be. pick on y'all. This is why women pick on y'all emotions like what you just said. No, I think it's that now because back then he probably couldn't have said it. For real. My point like, is, if if she using him, he using her, he can't use that narrative. That's not even you can't use that narrative. First of all, do you think he? Do you think he used her for real? Yes, nigga. I think he. No, I think he got something out of it. He, yes, I'm gonna tell you why Using? he used her. I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, he, it was his idea to create this YouTube channel and all this shit. Apparently, she ain't know how to do none of that. Right. So, he, all women lead in YouTube. They lead in views. That don't mean they mm -hmm. lead in work. So, they right. not editing videos some. They not editing right. videos and, and all that. So, he needed to use her for her appearance. She's a beautiful woman. Why not? Yeah. He used okay. her to get that bag. Now, she can't even get it. She, there's no bag there for her anymore. So he absolutely used her for sure. Well, that, because that's, that's what they do. That's because you, uh, the other people that you used to talk about, they're the same thing. Everybody does though. Everybody, you behind every man is a fine ass woman. But see, that was back in the days because men needed to, they needed a woman to survive and they needed kids and you need you to clean right, it up. Right, right. Now you need a woman in the front in order for you to make some money for some of these niggas. Right, 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 right. right. That's Thanks. what he did. He used her for that, and now he's throwing her to the wolves. That's fucked up. Touche. That's fucked up. T.I. I got to pee. And the King situation. Baby, that's a whole lot, a whole lot. And I ain't going to lie. I think King was wrong. I think they were all a little drunk. And they were playing. And then things escalated. To where it should not have went. King, have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the goal. All right, then. Or in your ear. Or in your ear. I don't know what you're talking about.
Send them neighborhood to meet that roach up with roaches. Y'all want to go to the bando and man my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? You got to kill me. Tomatoes and onions. Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? To make him look better, he said he know not true. Silver Spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Nigga, you did have silver spoon. I heard Zoe say that he think they was playing and it got out of hand. They absolutely wasn't playing. I, I want to go back I to think, the live. Huh? I think they was having a conversation and he got offended because of what we said yesterday. Mm -hmm. Basically saying that. Nah, cuz. I I been through this. I was at the band over my grandma. Y'all can't tell me that I was with a silver spoon in my mouth this and the third. And then it got heightened yeah. because he started saying stuff that he really ain't been through because T.I. was that. You know what I'm saying? And T.I. pulling his car because, nigga, come on, stop playing with me. Realistically, bro. you ain't been that. Right? Yes. But he wanted to be that. Oh, yo, right. right. yeah, I, I, I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. But they don't understand that. Yo, I'm going to tell you the reason why he want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because he can suck and pacify over there. He's 12 years old. So this is when it went bad because he felt disrespected. Like... Nigga, I'm a he. How he feel? I'm a gangster. Nigga, don't tell him I was sucking a pacifier till twelve. Y'all just y'all not trying to tell what the truth is. You know what I'm saying? And the truth is that you wanted to have this hood life, but you ain't come from that. It was no need for you to come from that because your daddy done worked his ass off for y'all not to be that. Period. <laughs> They try to say I was over there trying to suck a passy, but they ain't gonna tell you everything like that. They, they, you hide can't tell me that nigga don't look like that fish off of uh <laughs> what, what what fish was that? Will Smith shark tail. You cannot tell me he do not look like Will Smith off of Shark Tale. That nigga mouth got bigger this time. <laughs> oh, God. I was trying not to say nothing about it. It just keeps getting bigger. Wait. What's the fish off Shark Tale? Oh, no. I gotta find it. The fish. Will Smith? Will Smith? Yes. Will, Will Smith. Smith. Shark tail. Shark tail fish. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar. That's his name. Oscar. <laughs> Yo. My boy look like Oscar, y'all. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit funny as hell. He looked oh, just like that him. That nigga look like Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god, you dead ass hey, wrong for that. He capping. Oscar, you know I stand on business. We got to side by side. Hey, don't think I ever pulled my car ever in life. I stand on business. You, you drop me somewhere, I stand on business. You, you drop me in your hood, man. I stand on business. I don't feel like you stand on business. Yeah. Said, I've been stood on business. Stood on business. Word, I've been stood on business. Word, you want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. I, 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 I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't. You ain't had So I think this went too far for T.I. Definitely. Behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You was behind the until you cried. No, I ain't got too much to drink. I done drunk too much. Then you trying to say I'm drunk. Let's go. I'm getting mad because we say the South ain't the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other Like this being sick. This being sick. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping. Man, you saying you know me like 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 you my daddy type shit. I'm, I'm telling you that would have pissed me off. 
that would have pissed me off. You know who. And then come to you find know. out you there because I'm performing. So, y'all, I, I figured that out late. You're 10-10 th- in the chat. You're there because I'm performing with your spoiled ass. That's the only reason why you're here in the first place. He tripping. I know you, though. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. So Tiny was trying to keep him the hell away from T.I. So T.I. didn't muscle his ass up. And it happened anyway. Right. You know I stand right. on business. You know I stand on business. She you like, get your ass the, like the, the hell on. Oh, I'm trying to tell you. Why you let him play with me like that? So let me ask you a question, Carl. Um... Do he have an issue with T.I.? Clearly. Because he's talking like that's a nigga on the street. Clearly. Why are you letting him play me like that? Why are you letting, uh, why are you letting him play me like that? So like, a clip resurfaced today, and he was trying to tell T.I. that um, he wanted to do his own music. And he was very upset at the fact that T.I. was basically saying, you need to go to yes. school first. So Good I life. think King has resentment because mm-hmm. he, want, he wanted to be... An artist like his dad, but T.I. was on some shit like, I don't want y'all to grow up like me. So right. my dad kind of did the same thing, love him to death, but, it, you know, he a hustler, and he like, nah, I want you to go to school and be a lawyer. And I'm like, <laughs> let me let me count how many lawyers is in my family. Okay, not one. Right, right, right. I don't want to be that. I want you to be a doctor. If you're going to have a job, I want you to work at UPS. He wanted me to have job security and shit. He just wanted me to have money and not go through what he went through, which is a good thing from a parent. He had good intentions, but that's not what I want. Nigga, I'm a product of you. So King resents him, I think, for that. Because I think King feel like if he would have started early, he would be good now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's resentment. I don't think he got beef or nothing with him. I think he loves his daddy. He just resent him. Like nigga, you yeah. you held me back. I, I that's what I think. Uh he was failing in school. He just wanted to finish high school first. Oh yeah, T I wanted him to finish high school first because his grades was bad. That's another thing. Uh you couldn't reward him at the time because his grades was bad. So so you can't blame T I for that. He, no, you he can't. wasn't asking the nigga to go to college. He was right. asking him to finish what he had to do anyway. Right. Was but that it was it was still resentment there because I think that I don't know if T.I. even finished high school. I have no idea. But T.I. dropped out. He did? Yeah. So I think that I, mean, I, I think he did? Yeah, yeah, that shit you definitely doing that by itself. That's crazy. That just cut on. I think that um Yeah. I think King didn't give a fuck about none of that. I think he like nigga. I don't need school. Yeah, it makes sense. It it makes (laughs) sense because he's trying to be that. Yeah. So yeah, the way he yeah. So and then he get mad at everything. No. So now it's like if if somebody don't want to do a feature with him or they trying to charge him a hundred thousand and shit like that, he just have a he have little hissy fits every chance he get with everybody. It ain't even just Ti. Because he's still a spoiled little boy. Yeah, man. He, so used to getting everything he wanted. That thing got everything he wanted in that damn show. Yeah, he did. I don't know if everything. he got paid. That don't matter. You ain't want for nothing. Yeah. So what's money? What's, you get money to buy stuff. If you got stuff that you want to buy, you ain't got to buy it. True. They said, uh, oh, yeah, he came at the baby because the baby was charging him over 100000 Um. They said Kingman like that since he was little, so. Yeah. yeah. So he about to get pieced up by his dad. You are embarrassing yourself. The reason why he got pieced up, he got too close to his damn daddy. Yeah, because he's fighting his mom to get past. Yeah. Now, now you're going to get your ass beat. He ain't even piecing him up. He just grabbing him. Yeah. Ain't shit you can do with me. But stood out to me. <sighs> Was he was like, no, I ain't gonna make him do me like this. I know the real this. I know you. Mm-hmm. I know you. I know you. Oscar. I know you. Know. 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 What's wrong with y'all? Cause like, how did y'all really go from, you know, where you was raised? If you was fed with a silver spoon, right, and all this other stuff to like really fighting like i said that's why i believe it was liquor involved 
But it's some they other had to be undercover about business King. going on. And then, like, how you tell your mama? Why you let him talk like that? How you gonna let him talk like like this man is not your daddy? Right. Yes. Why you let somebody play with me like that? And somebody then why you letting crazy. somebody play with me like that is crazy. Right. Like like that didn't make you together. And like, I was what? gonna say that. Ain't that his daddy? I was gonna I'm I'm checking. <laughs> is that oh. his daddy? Oh man, that would be crazy if it's not. That got to be his daddy. It's gotta be. Cause they the, the what's his name? Damani? Damani? Damani mm -hmm. is not Tiny's son. Damani. Damani is not tiny son, right? Okay. Damani used but to try to... T.I. had him first, right? Huh? King Major and Eris. King Major and Eris. Okay. Damani used to try and rap like he was from the hood, and T.I. nipped that in the bud quick. Yeah. See, T.I. thing is, I don't work too hard for y'all to come up here embarrassing me. Fake like y'all from the hood. Real shit. Can you blame him, though? He know what these streets capable of. Right. That's why. Yeah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. I did shit. Be shit me. I know for a fact that my child ain't gonna be able to gonna be, I'm gonna try my best for her not to see what the hell I had to see. Yeah. I mean she ain't and, seen it yet, so you're doing pretty damn good to me. You feel me? Uh, I just yeah. I don't understand. Let him play with me like that. <laughs> why you let him play with me like that? No, it ain't no joking. Like you're acting like this man is a, a person on the street, not your dad. And y'all remember yeah, the rumors? Tripping. They think is allegedly we're on the earth. That ice tea uh, is that boy daddy. Dang. I don't know. That's what you get for taking Tom Brady gonna win your money. I got proof, y'all, that ice tea is king. Daddy, check this mm. shit out. I got 99 mm. problems. Jane Warner. Now, what if I told you that ice tea was tapping? Coco and Tiny YT I was in jail. Y'all believe me, but check this shit out. Back in the day when Tiny was with the group Escape, Tiny was holding a secret. Tiny was having late night rhyming mm. with the rapper Ice-T. They used to fuck backstage in the bathroom when nobody was around. Let's bring him forth a secret she would hold for years. See, back in the day when she was just kicking it with Escape, she was also kicking it in the back with Ice-T. <laughs> which Tiny didn't make no mind of it. She just went back to her mansion and just chilled out for a little bit. Until she noticed four weeks later, she missed her period. What? And that's when she decided secretly to meet up with Ice-T. And Ice-T said, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Y'all, this some straight up <laughs> bullshit. He acting like he done spoke to both of them separately and shit. You feel me? Nah. Wow. T, I gotta she get a She said, test. yes, you did. He said, no, First I of all, wasn't King alive when T, I was in prison? God damn, T, T, how old is King? That was about uh, 20 King, years ago. T.I. been out long time. Yeah, King was absolutely... Man, we about to skip this shit because this T. is just cap. out a long time because... Yeah, she said yes, Nah, she bro, King was no alive, idea. though. That was during the show. So she came up with a plan. So she said this she is cap. just pinned the shit on T.I. since they did it right before he went to jail, see? And this was in the same week that she got with Ice-T. But she been with IC first all along. Now what I want to show you is, look at Coco Baby and King. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Word on the curve. Oh yo, man. Yo. Nah, crazy. nah. I they, 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 they look just like him. That's crazy. They look bro. That's not IC son, bro. Look at look at King's top lip. Look at. Ice I feel lip. you. However, I will say the, the guy said that T.I. was in prison we when gotta look it up. King was look conceived. But that's I not true. Now, if something happened before that, which would be five or six years prior to, because King was five or six, maybe even three or four, I ain't gonna lie, he looked like him though. <laughs> He looked like all them. <laughs> King looked like his looked white like grandma. Looked like that little albino, albino baby. I, I don't think she albino at all. She's a mixture she of light albino. skinned she's as hell white. and yeah. white. Light skinned and white, yeah. He was born in 2004. Okay, when was T.I. locked? T.I. was locked up several times, by the way. Yes, he got 
before his career was really jumped off, he was in prison. Uh, <laughs> Somebody said, wait, yeah. put the fish up there. Cause you gotta <laughs> okay. share your screen. Share All right, your hold screen. on, let me get let me let me get this. <laughs> oh okay. Nah. Okay, so no, no, that, that don't that can't make sense then. That's what I'm saying. Because T.I. was locked up October 15th, 2000. Please share your screen, cuz. Can you I'm put the fish on, on the screen? <laughs> <I'm scared. laughs> At this point, I feel like Twitch. Oh, hell. Why, Shonda? Don't say that. Put Take that word out of here. Shit. Take the word out. Take what word out? Our word. Mm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar the fish is crazy. That's... I'm about to share my screen. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> you gotta put it on the picture of him, though. <laughs> 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 the fish. You can't tell me. He when looked he like on a him. handsome. I know ass you, Oscar. I know you. I know. You. <laughs> Listen, I know you. he looked just like Oscar. He Oscar like was Oscar. handsome, though. He looked like that nigga, Oscar. Oscar right? handsome, y'all. Baby, I know baby, you. come here, baby. Come look at Oscar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby, I know what Oscar look like. Yes, yes. Ain't he handsome? He sure was. See? Dude, you can't tell me that's not King. Nah, that's King, though. That's for sure King. That's King, bro. Somebody go call Maury. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I was about to say Maury died. That's Jerry Springer. All right, here we go. Because this ain't no baby. That's why he said, y'all know what I know. I know what I know. <laughs> And I remind me like, of Malibu's why was he all that? I don't know, girl. Something ain't right. They said he was in 2004. Mm. So did I look up the wrong thing? And is that why mm -mm. he was always at Grandmama House? Cause you can look at the show. When T.I. was locked yeah. up, King was alive. Well, they said he wanted to go to Grandma House because he wanted to always suck on his pacifier. And he knew he couldn't do it at home. And huh? that means she had to be cheating on him, which is possible. <clears throat> yeah. That's still possible. That, it's still possible, not. but not at that time is what I'm saying. That yeah, story yeah, don't the, make sense. The timing, yeah, the timing don't make sense. That's why he always wanted to be with grandma. But I don't know, girl, ain't nothing good about being from the hood. He want to be from the hood so bad, but baby, you was on a TV show at a young age with rich parents. I don't care if you was from the hood or not, if you stayed with grandmama or not, I'm sure they didn't let you go without. We'll listen because to the song you was on that TV show and you was well-dressed, everything. Now, it might not have been peaches and cream, but baby, you was on that TV show and you got parents of corn. Look at you. Am I going to graduate? Am I going to graduate? Are you going to graduate? He graduated. He definitely graduated. What type of advice have they given you that you really do appreciate? Um, for Start my, with mama first. Okay, for my mom, uh, keep going, uh, work hard, be consistent. Same with my dad. Okay, um, he was precious then. Vocabulary, expand yes. your vocabulary. You know he told me that. Oh, of course he does. Yeah. Yes, your dad and, is um, the king of that. Yeah, and stay humble. Hey, right here, King said, if I'm a mistake, just, just say that. Everything your parents told you to do, you You're fucked that all up. He ain't do none of that shit. <laughs> Aside from stay consistent, he's consistently showing that um, he, he feels as though he wasn't treated correctly, yeah. I think. But I think he's confused with what they uh, it just him not allowing to do what he wanted to do i don't fucking know right so did they tell him one day he was a mistake 
Like, oh, or could it be because she made mistake and slipped up and had sex with I see. So, or did they tell him did. that they really didn't want to have him? What's going on? He did get locked up in 2004. How long he stayed mm -hmm. there? 2007. I got to pee. Again. Girl, Sunday, right? He got locked up for three years. Sunday, right? But Come on, Zoe ain't talking about that right now. If I'm a mistake, if I'm a mistake, just say that. Or maybe he was in his feelings. I don't know, girl. That's a little fishy to me. Oh, that's a little fishy. Tell what y'all think. I mean, I do think he's wrong for doing that to his daddy. Allegedly, his daddy. You know how like kids don't want to seem like they're. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know. They don't want to seem like they're living off their parents. Like you know, people are like, what the fuck you doing? So that's I think he wants to feel like he made his own way. Hey, man, you hang out with hood niggas. They be like, yeah, man. On the show, he was complaining about the fact that he wanted to make his own name. The problem is you came into this thing being T.I. son. Now, Damani, he making a name for himself. That nigga ain't T.I. son. Like, he's Damani. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit is a plus. Like, Coy LeRae going through that shit. That's Ben Zeno's daughter. And, like, Coy Ray, I feel like she been doing her thing. About, they saying that she came out dissing Benzino first. I'm not, I'm not understanding. What's going on, Kia Key? But he want to make a name for himself. I think that, I ain't going to say it's too late, but he's focusing too much on trying to do that and hinder his relationship with his dad that already helped create this, you know what I'm saying, this wave. Tootie ain't having this problem. It's like a double-edged sword for real. <clears throat> on one side of the sword, you're going to be able to cut something so it's going to help you, and the other side ain't going to do nothing. It ain't going to help you at all. So it's like he want to make a name of his own, but the way he's trying to go by it is the way that his dad made his name, and it's just not going to work that way. It's just, it's not. It's just it ain't going to work that way. It's not. It's not going to work that way. We got this out the mud. You had your shit handed to you, and I feel like that's affecting him. Girl, I don't know. I don't know, but he needs to just chill, cause yeah, he he just always in some something that's really hurting that boy. Yes, something is really hurting his that boy. ego. Two to really stand mm. on business, though. Facts. Next, next we got the Tiana Taylor situation. So as y'all know, they broke up, right? And that nigga Jack can say his name. E mom took me by surprise because. I really fuck with both of them. Like, I love both of them. I think they're both amazing people. I think they're both really funny, beautiful people. And just you never know what's going on behind the scenes in someone's home. Cuz, let me ask you a question. I'm listening. Do you think that you could... Do you think you could be in a relationship with a woman who's allowing you to have relations with other women and still divorce? <laughs> It's got to be something else. The only thing I can think of is if somebody is allowing me to have relations with other women, home got to be ho up for me to get a divorce. Because ain't, it ain't too many women out here allowing you to go dip your fish and some more gray. Unless they, unless, no, it's not. But either way, home still got to be on point. Like, because think about it. I'm going to use context clues so you can understand what I'm saying. All right. Um, motherfucking where you at and Broomhilda. Yeah. Home was terrible. Home was trash. You see what I'm saying? But Broomhilda was like, you know what I'm saying? You do what you want. You do what you want. You right. I mean, that's a great example. But at the same time, work. but at the same time, they was like, Every time he did what he want, Broomhilda was like, I don't like it. 
So it's like fake. Yes. It's like giving them a pass on because you know they're going to do it anyway, but you really ain't okay with it. That could be the thing. That could, that could well, no, I think she was cool with it because Tiana Taylor liked to dip in some cooch every once in a while. So if they were doing it together? No. Or she was giving them the Well, ca- yes, mm. together. And I think she was absolutely okay with him doing his own thing. They had like an open relationship, like Jada and Will, allegedly. So she was doing, if they were doing it together, he was doing other women, and she was doing other women. Yep. Allegedly. Was she allegedly doing other men? That, mm, I don't know. Double standard, but that could be an issue. Well, she did. So that makes sense for what you're saying because she did call right. him a narcissist. She said that basically his narcissistic ways is what had them break up. And, and, and I just, I, it has to be that because if you look at him on his, on any type of platform that he on when he doing a, a an interview and interview, he's the coolest, chillest, but you never know how he is at the crib. You know what I'm saying? True. So, I don't know. I don't know their relationship. We don't know what happened on the inside True. of their crib. So, it's like... We don't know. I, I can see what the problem would be with an open relationship is because it's like, I know it's a double standard, but if you want me to dip my... If I can dip my pickle in another hummus, I don't want nobody's pickle coming in your hummus. Oh, my God, that's a whole nother conversation. Why is it that you could dip your pickle in other hummuses, but when a pickle get in, and she approved of the the pickle dipping. Right. But you feel some type of way about her getting the pickle dipped. Why? Because, so, so explain, I'm explaining in as far as keys and houses, right? Oh. If you have a key that can open a whole lot of locks. Uh huh. You have a master key, right? Yep. You want that key. Yep. But if you got a two hundred and fifty million dollar house yep. that can be opened by any key, mm-hmm. you don't want that house. Okay. Same thing. Guys are the keys. Hmm. They can open any lock. They are the man. Girls are the houses that can get opened by any lock. I mean, any key, it's not a good house, unfortunately. That's mm-hmm. just realistic. Okay, can I realistically say something as well? I said it was a double standard, but he let's did. be honest. But let's no, be honest. I, 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 that I just wanna, makes more sense. I have a question because... I'm here. I understand... And thank you for saying you like him. He's a great conversationalist. This is why he been belonged on this internet trash too. But we're going to get on trash right. ass real soon. He, he don't know it yet. He don't know it yet, but he he, he going to find out. So, cuz. Yeah. Why the fuck? I done cuss because it done pissed me off. Why do, <laughs> why do men think? Why do men think that? Because you use the house. Why do men Mm -hmm. think that women want your key that you don't put in a hundred different houses? That's that's, 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 that's on y'all. That's on y'all. No one, not very, very, very many women want a, a guy that is not wanted by very many. Uh huh. That's just real. Women, but, but, okay, but men. If he ain't had no, basically, if he ain't had no hoes, she wouldn't be on him. If he wasn't the man. Now that's true. Of course, the man, being the man comes with the hoes. And she know what it is. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of women want a man that's got. A bad dude. A lot of bad boys ain't no good and the good girls ain't no fun. You feel me? So it's like that key is like that. Apparently, uh, apparently. if it's able to open all these houses, I need to see what that key is like. And then that she approved it because it was like, it's still my key. But cuz, that key, that's crazy because that key belongs to the community. So you telling me your it, no, key. No, no, no. The key don't belong to the community. The key only one person the, can have The only one person can have that key. But it's able to get as many houses as they want. That don't mean that ha- that key belongs to everybody. No, 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 nigga. Y'all got a universal key. Y'all we will have go. Y'all keys. go. Uh, get, no, y'all got one univ- One, one. We universal. have a universal key. Let me say that. Yes. You got one universal key. <clears throat> yep. And y'all putting that in every door in the community. But because then, I'm able to. But 
Well, why isn't the woman able to? Why isn't the woman able to get our keys going in her? Uh, because because nobody wants a house that anybody can get in. But you can get any key? That's crazy. Because okay, this video well, gonna be two this, hours because I completely this, disagree. <laughs> this is why I said we last night. This is why I said we need to talk about those relationship type videos. That I they know be we doing because, it because because of the simple fact that a man has to work very much harder to get the pom pom than the woman does to have to get the doom doom. Uh-huh. The woman has to wake up in the morning, brush her teeth, and walk outside, and she got 10 Ds in her DMs already. Okay. While a man has to make sure he looks good, make sure he smells good, make sure he got some money in his pocket, make sure he got clothes on, make sure he got a good job, good car, make sure he got a house, make sure he barely got any kids, make sure he ain't got that many baby mamas. And if he got baby mamas, make sure the baby mama don't give a damn about what he's doing and make sure there ain't no okay, drama. Okay, you got a responsibility to be the noble man, but so does gotcha. women. Status is what makes them the man. Women don't need a status. They just have to wake up. So when a man has to have all of these things, clearly he had to do a whole lot in order to get these things. That's why it's harder for men to get the pom pom than it is for women. So if What's a man, if a man had, it's it's all around the internet. If no, a man had, and a, then I don't agree with it. I mean, if what, a man had a forty, go ahead, go ahead. If a man had a forty thousand dollar job a year, forty thousand dollars. I mean, that man roughly makes twenty five hundred dollars every month. Uh huh. It's enough to pay for himself. Uh huh. He could get, but he could get about twenty five hundred dollars, three thousand, four thousand dollars a month. Uh -huh. Right? Yep. That ain't enough for these women these days. Cause what that got to do with the key going in the in the in the, so the universal key? Has, so so because of the fact that he have to work so hard to make a hundred k. 200k for to be accepted in this society he has to work so much harder he should be able to have the status to be able to open all these okay what about the, the women what about the women who has this status as well because see times have changed yes times have changed but like i said you wake up in the morning nobody's asking you how much money you make being in a relationship but nobody's what does asking money you have what to do with that doesn't that don't make sense just because you have status and you feel as though you worked hard to do whatever just like anybody else uh, women got to work hard that, to do whatever too that does matter because these are the things that men are being declined for women aren't <laughs> some women are though no now, they're not I don't, now, I don't predominantly i don't mean predominantly but let me say this though a woman has to look like something in order for you to want her correct that's cap because because you in chat man you know if you see somebody with sweatpants hair tied chilling with no makeup on you a still wife that cut it out cuz it's a lot of women out here who ain't worth a penny smashed that got keys and it's some niggas out that here house. that's living off of women just giving out Useless the, dick. But what's the majority? Women the majority getting, is not men with of status. Absolutely yeah, it is. Not. Because the men yeah. most of the time now you saying times have changed, yes, but it's still at the top and the peak where men are the breadwinners. Oh no, I'm not Who, saying they're not the breadwinners. Right. So they so they the ones are settling. Because the women aren't making this much, aren't doing this much. The status is in high, and they got bodies. They got bodies and bodies, bodies. But so I mean, it's like, but what does that have to do with pussy? That don't make. What does what does mon money that you make at your job? How does that equate to pussy? That's how y'all. That's how y'all are. You not maybe not you, but most women uh -huh. are worried about how much man. If you if you get on here and you did a dating show, you interviewed a hundred women. What do you look for in a man? 79, maybe 85 of them 100 women are going to say something about money. Money, if not for 90%. Sure. For sure. That's why. If that's what I'm saying. So money equates to pussy, unfortunately. That's why OnlyFans is at an all-time high. That's why. Uh, OnlyFans is uh, at an all-time high because of the women. No, it's because of the men. We got to look the that up. We'll look that up after Women this ain't buying it. Women ain't buying it. No. Nope. Men are buying it. Oh, you talking about buying it. I thought you was talking about right. running it. OnlyFans is at an old time high because men have the money. True. Okay. The money. Money to buy. equals. Touche. Touche. Got it. So we did, we did go to Vancouver on this one. But anyways, 
We did. My thing is, money Man, equates add me. poop. Nigga. You supposed to be over here. Bitch, you supposed to be I'm money. talking bam, bam, but I... We got to finish this video, though, cuz. We got to yeah, finish this video. We gonna, yeah, motherfucker. We gonna, yeah, we gonna, I'm going to call you. And the fact you, that, you know, whoever leaked minutes. that information out from the court documents, I think that's fucked up. Um, Because one thing about Tiana and him, they are both very private. And she said that. She was like, I'm, I'm hurt that whoever leaked this out. She's like, I've always been private. All right, I've always tried to protect my family. And I, I, I can commend her for that because she's done that. Uh, um, that's fucked up just for a little tabloids. So they got a divorce. She said there was no infidelity at first, but well, then she came back around and told the truth. Yeah, he, you know, had multiple women. Whatever the case may be, I don't know multiple, but he had women. Um, and he was a narcissist, and you know, just the fact that he was kind of like it was said. In the notes that he was jealous of her success, he would tell her he didn't want her to work or she was doing too much or whatever the case may be. And so then when she, I guess that's why she started, that's why she was going to quit music. Remember, she was like, I'm going to quit music, y'all. And nobody knew why. She was like, well, because people don't really appreciate my music. It was because of that. No. And so when she quit the music, he turned back around and said, she wasn't making enough money. So it's like you're trying huh? to like, well, this all is alleged. Well, that's narcissistic. Just read the notes. It's like, well, what that's do you want her to do? Narcissistic. And you make money. You make so much money with basketball. And then she said that she even got him into the acting business and got him deals and things like that. And oh my God, that's just crazy. I mean, to to keep talking about what Are we you? did for each other is also crazy. Like, that was like a... a somebody... He he seemed like he was mad at the fact that she was wearing the pants a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But he was definitely making a lot of money with basketball. Does he still play basketball? No, he does not. Did he quit? He got blackballed. Damn. Never no know. comment. What somebody is going <laughs> Speaking of basketball, and he got blackballed. Nigga, how in the hell is, uh, what's that man's name? The one who just choked up Cuh. Uh, uh, Draymond. How is he still playing? Draymond probably the only black man I know that can get away with the shit that he get away with. Because it sells. Damn. Yeah, we're going to get you in trouble. We kind of get we, the only reason really we're getting in trouble to show that we don't want it to be sale, but the fact that it's so much that people are talking about, mm. so much money and revenue, mm. we gotta keep it. Because mm. if it was if it, the basketball already done got soft, so if they just talking about basketball and they just watching basketball go up and down the court, Steph shooting and and LeBron Duncan and and and, and the, all them other niggas. That's it's good. boring as hell. We don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Somebody got to get choked out. Somebody got to get now, choked out. Now, <laughs> I can see basketball as the NBA going um, scripted like the WWE. Mm. The only reason why I say that is because if you watch basketball, then you see that Dylan Brooks is calling himself the villain. When he's really not even re relevant. The hair thing. You talking the about the, the yeah the partner with the braids. Braids. No. Light skin. I was oh, going to definitely get... no. I thought you was talking about the one that like he just went gothic and dark for for no reason. No, that's um. My bad. No, you good. That's Jimmy Butler, and he only do that for um picture day just because he be trolling. Oh, okay. After picture day, he braided his hair or he cut it or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Yeah, because last year, last year he had um, weave. He had he put fake dreads in his head. Crazy. All right, we gotta he finish this damn video. Through. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just I, I, I hope this bitch. Yeah. They can um let this stuff blow over and they leave it alone, child. Let we got Mr. Ride Wave. No, a lot of y'all was mad at me for that, but bitch, it's a kiki. Bitch, I can fucking cackle. Just because y'all are a supporter of somebody don't mean 
that that person didn't do something wrong. Now, yes, he came back around. I'm about to make a and salad. And he said that he may not have talk, paid Boosie, but he paid the <laughs> He ain't complaining about that salad yet. It was okay for me to be a fan of this. It was okay for me to be a uh, teenager listening to their music and supporting them and shit and f with them. But now I'm growing and shit and a rapper. And I say a couple of lines because I f with such and such. I f with that. I f with what I just said. Like, well, damn, what I just see. I f what I just see. I said in my soul, f that like I stole some shit. How do you feel? That up. is stealing shit, nigga. All is right, it so though? Right. Yes. So you do know what Every happened with this. Everything that comes out nowadays got something old in it. Right, but a lot of times they pay you for that. But hold on, before we get into that. Uh, if you just steal a line or, okay. Say, for instance, you in the studio, you wrote majority of the song. I'm talking 97%. If a producer put three words in it, I mean, it could be one word. They get writing rights. Which means they have the rights to all that shit. So he should know that as an artist. So when you put something in a song like that, I get you like them, whatever. They made money off this. People, this is their livelihood, especially when they get older. This is why everybody's showing their ass. It's time for retirement um, right, money right, and right, shit. Right. So you, you got to know that as an artist. So that was stealing. Now, Blueface is another one. He did do that, but Blueface went to a label for that label to get that cleared. That was smart. Right. Too short and them still got their money is what y'all don't know. They just got their money from uh whoever mm -hmm. signed them. I don't forgot, but they got their money from them. Blueface got that. He did that. Got away with it for a short time, and then got that label to pay too short and them whoever song he took at the time. He he's trying to take somebody else shit now, but. Right. The, the label is going to have to get that clear and getting that cleared is to pay them people for that, for, for that music. Now that's what Rod Wave did not do. Rod Wave should have had the label pay Boosie for that line, period. So right. he about to have to pay him some money for, for ignorance of him not knowing what to do. I had to go by that, yo. Yeah, period. All these lyrics, like I stole some shit. You dumb bitch. If it's public, it's public record. I, don't, I stole it. Hey, Nigga, that's the dumbest shit I... Bitch, <laughs> if it's public record, how did I steal it? So if somebody take a Rod Wave song right now and take his whole first verse, he gonna be looking at niggas like, why the fuck you steal my song? Is he not? Yeah. He acting like he not. So anybody right now should take a Rod Wave song and, and remix, not even remix, just use his words. And so, it, since it's public record, we can get away with it and shit. So what I always had the question of is... um. What's the difference from taking their music and doing like mixtapes and stuff? Is that uh, the same? so they you have to get that clear? Yes. Yeah. Now with mixtapes, it depends because clearly you ain't trying to make no money off that. Now I never understand how Lil Wayne. Wayne. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. I never understand how Lil Wayne was able to put those songs. On Apple Music, because Apple Music don't play that shit at all. He made albums off of pure mixtapes. Yes, he did. Well, technically, so it was like, still a mixtape and not an album. Well, uh, okay. It, it's well, how yeah. you play with the verbiage, but Lil Wayne probably the only person that, that can get away with it. But I bet you Lil Wayne hit them niggas up and told them, hey. Uh, did he? I hope he did. Maybe he did. But <laughs> because I, let's be, let's, I, let's I be a hunter. Let's be a hunter. I want I would want my beat. I would want Wayne to rap on my beat over Rod Wave. That's what I'm saying. Because Wayne probably made a lot of their songs hit different. No, he stole them bitches. As far as who the fuck was listening to Mike Jones after uh uh Lil Wayne remixed? I forgot which song it was. But uh, who listened to Mike Jones after that? He I, paid I mean the I listened to beats. Okay. Yes. Well, he paid. Okay. Oh, he paid for the lease of the beats. Well, yeah, well, that's it then. Okay, well, if you pay for it, use them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Some shit like a bitch was trying to come up with some shit and I stole they shit. What the fuck is you talking about, man? It's your lame, stupid. What the fuck you talking about, man? I'm talking about fat. Man, I got this shit tatted on me, man. What the fuck is you talking about? What the fuck is you talking about, man? You been listen to this shit since a little boy. This a little teenager. You're going to live. Living behind. You're going to stand it on this shit. That's how powerful 
that's how powerful I uh, was looking up to these rappers and shit. You feel me? Any, you should have uh, hit him any, up. Any, anything I ever said in my yeah. song, I repeated in my song on my mama. I would have put Boosie on the motherfucking remix. If I'm going to take your shit or if I want to be a part of your shit, I'm going to put you on a remix, period. If you fuck with him so heavy, put him on a song. I bet you we wouldn't have this problem. Facts. So how Same you got a nigga made. tatted on you and not doing a song with him? That's crazy. And would have made a lot more money. A whole lot more money. That's that's just crazy. They got paid as fat people. Uh, what? Compare more. Drake gave me the okay. I did a little shit from this song. You asked Drake. Anybody, anything I ever did, I got the okay. You asked and then Drake. Somebody they gonna sue me. They don't even own it. They don't even own the rights to the song. <laughs> you already gonna got okay. What are you talking about, man? I'm not blaming it. Mm, so he, different. Hold okay. on now. Hold on. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, I heard on, it. I heard on. it. I heard it. So yes, it, it got okayed from the person who owned the shit. So he's saying Boosie don't own the shit. Now Boosie will he he gonna be wasting court money then? I mean, <laughs> and he took Jay Z line too. Now I know Jay Z ain't approved that shit. If, if <laughs> that's the truth, though. Yeah, because I I think Boosie been in the game long enough to, to know own his own shit. Not. So <laughs> if Boosie not about to make no scene or no <laughs> nothing, and then they be his man's telling them, "Hey, yo, this ain't your shit, dog." Nigga, he somebody like, said, you know "Oh my God, he's speaking blacks again." <laughs> I can't understand. <laughs> I swear to God, I I, I really heard what, what he said neither. <laughs> I don't know. It's bits and pieces I can pick up. I'm picking you know. up a couple words. I didn't time. learn black skin back in the day in school, so black skin is crazy. Do you hear Man, me? I don't, I don't know. I swear, that's crazy. I don't know what they. Oh, mean. never want no extra attention, bro. Oh, I be chilling. Drop my music, stay the fuck out of the way. How the how the fuck y'all just be want extra attention? I don't understand that. Shit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> But I guess Boots just thinking like, man, you know, we we cool. You could at least, you know, came and said, hey, Boosie, I want to use your song Beard. and your words. You know what I'm saying? Like, the publishing company, I feel is like, you know, the music and shit. I mean, well, no, it's the words too, but I, love I guess that's why Boosie, man, he just feel like, hey, you could at least just said, yo, Boosie, I'm going to use this. That's cool with you? I don't know. Put him on the I song. Just, I don't know. Put him on the song. That's what I would have did. Let somebody use his shit. Exactly. I know he'll be upset. I would be too. Like, bitch, that's my words. I was going through that shit. Nigga, say right. this public <laughs> record. <laughs> yeah, I really am going through the shit. There was really nothing. I'm trying to find some more stuff to talk about. <laughs> Ain't nothing going on. Bro, not him. Man. Fucking that salad up. That <laughs> salad look good as hell, too. <laughs> this hey, week. Yo. Now like, this look real thing. good. Look, Hollywood Unlocked. Let me see. What's this say? Zell shared some interesting posts about getting your lit that solid and fake people <laughs> hanging out. Ooh. <laughs> see them hang out with the same motherfucker they was just talking shit about. Ooh. I get my lid back, sign me back. Or, you know, Chantel been hanging out with Chef D. Motherfucking boss. <laughs> yeah, Man, suck not my... Not only hanging, they been like, I guess doing it on the low. Dick, mm -hmm. come on, babe. And then called him back. Jacket or something. All right. Nigga you always want to act funny. I never want to get that little pussy up. Stop. Hey, hey, and remember the guy from uh, Bad Boy Club said the same thing. So I will tell you this. So I remember when me and Chef D was friends and Chef D was talking all kinds of shit about Santana. Chef D told me that Santana was jealous of me, which I didn't believe. I think that Chef D was just trying to be messy. But he was like saying like all kinds of like weird ass shit about that boy. Talking literally about like his body, how he have sex, how he jack off mm -hmm. and everything. We was just like, girl, you are fake. That's like, he would do that about Natalie. He would do that about Santana. He would do that about all the people he'd be around. He was in these rooms with these people and calling them best friends and babes and all. I know he was doing the same shit with me. So that's why on the show I was like, bitch, even though you stayed in my house, you was never my friend like that because I don't trust you enough to like ever like have my back while I'm not there. Cause if you talking about these people like they're dogs, I know you're talking about me too, bitch. 
And it, and the show really showed like who he is. Who he is on that show, that's really him. Like a dirty, got to be wig pressed down bitch. Like mm. broke, mm. can't cook. Like Damn. that's really him. A clout chaser. Yeah. Claims he everybody like his BBB. friend, everybody his BFF. <laughs> like girl. Nobody can stand he him. He looked better than BBB. And one of my friends had sex with him. First of all, he said his booty hole smelled like he ain't took a shower in nine days. Oh and my god! About <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Big. So, girl. Baby. Mmm. Mm, no, let me see what they got. What else they got going on? Booty smell like he ain't took a shower in nine days. Is crazy. Oh, hit maker talking about. They the still oven. hit though. King Harris. <laughs> Shit. Dang. Dang. He right, the that's just, but they still hit though. Facts. Right. Crazy. They trying mm. to sue Diddy. They, they said like, three more girls. I feel like you smell a booty hole when you get to the booty hole. You smell that booty hole when you open that booty hole. <laughs> yeah, got to. Whoosh. Oh! Mm-mm. <laughs> Something came out trying to sue Diddy, but they say that people are anonymous. So... That's why I always be like that shit. Like, hell. I think that's what Cassie was trying to do. Oh, that's I think she was trying to open up the floodgate. <laughs> but now you got weird ass people who also do want to just go in it for money, <clears throat> knowing that that man didn't even touch them. And that's just going to make everything look stupid. So, I don't know, girl. That's just a whole lot of, whole lot. That's a whole lot of, whole lot of. Let me see. What else they talking about? What's going on? Oh, little white boy. Uh, he was, um, that's what that minor girl. Oh, but the gag was mm-hmm. he met her in an 18 and up club. She told him she was 18, but folks said she didn't look like she was 18, but she was saying she was 18. Over the past couple of days, there was some pretty serious allegations. I know nothing is concrete there, but is there anything you can say in this situation? Yeah, I mean, I understand the question, obviously, but um, no, there's no further comment right now. She had a fake ID and everything, oh, child. So Lord. now I think she's like, now I think for real she's 18, 19, and he's 21 now. Yeah. But the same way y'all was... Man, if I had all that money and I was messing with these, you know, girls or whatever, and I was a man, Shawty wouldn't have her phone. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not taking no picture with you. But, 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 it looks good. Josh Giddy ain't making that much money in the NBA. Oh, uh, so why would it yeah, look good play- for him to be with some random girl that ain't got no money? He's he just now because it don't it takes a little bit of time to get used to the stardom when you start playing ball. Uh, like you ain't no Steph, you ain't no LeBron, you ain't no KD. So it's like yeah, I see you. Who you play for? Oh, where? Oh, so you play for the NBA? Okay, everybody on you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you know what I'm saying. I ain't used to it. Anybody giving you attention, you want it. Mm. And then he was young as hell too. He only twenty one nine. He did that when he was nineteen. So he was, oh. like, he was still a kid. Yeah. Oh, he was a, he, okay, that's different. Yeah. He was a so why child. is it coming out now? Because um, he they just found out that she was a minor. They just found out she just turned eighteen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And because he's in the NBA, so she, of course something she's chasing. Oh, she chased. She want a bag. Okay, okay, okay. I was doing Ja Durant, honey. I do him that same way because that ain't fair. Y'all was really tagging on Ja, beating his ass up. I like He's his still suspended. But this little white boy got a whole lot of whole lot of investigations. Ja, ja, y'all had granted it was already. Oh wait, clear. Ja Morant. Ja Morant is still suspended. Oh, he should be. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> like <laughs> that's another situation where. He's trying to be like King Harris, where he just trying. Well, he actually did grow up in the hood, but now he got so many on people on his team that's pushing him out, and he just want to be this gangster still. Nah, Man, you are you are, you have the capability to be the face of the league. <sighs> what well, did he had the capability to be he the face come, of the league? He could come back and clean it up. No, nah, it ain't gonna happen. They had to teach him a lesson. Ain't gonna happen. You don't think so? He's not. It's not gonna happen. But I mean, they still didn't. They still ain't fired him. Or however that go. I don't know. They're not gonna get rid of him because he's 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 gonna make too much money for the NBA. Oh. (laughs) But he's not gonna be the face. Oh. Not with Luca. Not with Luca, especially because they got Wimby Amba now. So yeah, it's over for him. Yeah. He could have been, but now he just a nick. Now he just a uh, another nigga in them fields getting us this cotton. Man, he's stupid. I ain't gonna lie. 
I am absolutely not for him at all. Like, I support him as a player and uh, as a black man. Like, come on now. I'm absolutely rooting for you, but nigga. Come on, How many times? It's so stupid. Like, the gun. Out of all things to be, you know what I'm saying? Or out of all things to do, you just got to let somebody know you got a gun? That's crazy. I'd rather you hold up a million dollars. Like, on top of that. (laughs) The guy that he was riding with tried to hurry up and snatch a camera. Like Man. He, they know. His people know. His people know. But, bro, you wilding. What are you doing? He should need like, me live. No, I'm going to go live with my mans. No. Riding around the city with John Morant. That's Marantz. stupid. Like, but we ain't supposed to have no pistol. You so. don't need to go live with me. First of all, you know you know, we doing everything but what God want us to do. In this car, and we on the way. But that too. wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. They was on the way to practice. That's even worse. It was on the way to practice. I thought they was about to go to the strip club or something. Dez. No, I no. I mean, no. Uh, excuse me, Hezzy Ref. Like I, like that's crazy. <laughs> like I said, um, he has the he had the ability to be the face of the league. So yes, we want to see him going to practice. Yes, we want to see him in the neighborhood talking to kids. Yes, we want to see him online with his friends and showing that he's a good guy and he not this gangster that they're saying he is because he uh got dreads or whatever. But the nigga just took the narrative back and was like, "Gun." Just <laughs> you know. <laughs> I yeah. am a gangster nigga. Yeah. That's so, so stupid, man. Yeah. All right, we still day, I can't you know, believe this 30 minute it. video turned into an hour and a half. His hand. But still, this is worse than a gun. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Even though the girl did lie, whatever the case may be, um, still put out the, you know, a statement and and suspend and all the stuff y'all did with Jai. I don't know, girl. Not on the same count. Oh, Tamar done got back with her man. Well, she didn't get back with him, but she was seen with her man. Y'all know what it is. Thanks for having me. Huh? What? Wow. He must what? got some money. Huh? He must got some money. He do, but what? The nigga was the wigger was just with Tommy. <laughs> the wigger. That's crazy. Mind you, he was fucking with Tommy, but see what I don't like is all my sisters out here letting this um this little YT do this to them. Like, first of all, okay, he was with you. He came out, told everybody he needed peace and this and that and whatever the case may be. But then he turned around and go be with Tommy, my girl, who, you know what I'm saying? She real wild and reckless and outside. But then now, you know, Tommy don't even like you like that. But then turn around and he come back and he with you and you brought that Tamar! Like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> what? Ain't none of my business. I ain't got nothing to do with this. What these girls do, girl. This is what these little girls do, girl. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this real quick and we're gonna keep going because this took this five half. minutes in. Uh status. What about money. it? Money. This is why he's able to do these things. We're gonna talk about that as soon as we get off this video because Bob was on Beverly Hill Drive, <laughs> stopped in the middle road, honey, slumped over the wheel. They said it was her, baby. They came and got a child. Just what? Wait. Damn, they got him. Uh, oh, Tiffany Haddish? Yep. Why she slumped over the way? What is going on? I'm just glad she's safe, because I mean, I do, I fuck with Tiffany. I'm glad she's safe. They said she was apprehended very peacefully when a whole lot, a whole lot of, maybe like she was really just tired. She's like, look, bitch, because I've been there where you just like, look, I'm going to just pull over. Because I don't want to hurt nobody, so let me just pull over and sleep this motherfucker off. So don't nobody be thinking about that while y'all (laughs) mid-drink. I know I do, like... No. If I drink one more of these, it's a wrap. We keeping it a thigh wow well now. Yeah. So it's been time. No, no, no. Not in my twenties. <laughs> Tiffany had it. I mean, oh, yeah, in she's my 40-ish. 20s, you're right, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. We did my a fault, whole lot fault. of dumb shit. I'm my talking fault. You. Tiffany had it since 40. Today, it's like <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, cook, I, I gotta stand, get her I home back to her. Hey, I gotta get her home back to the kids. I'll be thinking shit like that. Hey, I gotta cook, make sure she I... get home back to the kids and shit. And, and then, goddamn, we gotta, you know what I'm saying? I need to stay here. I, I need to stay here. I got shit to do. I get up at six o'clock. I can't do it. Now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's mm -mm. crazy, but you know, I ain't no telling what she was going through. I'm pray for her. Girl, and sometimes you be thinking you done pulled over to a rest stop, and girl, you really in the road. So I'm gonna. Sleep. <laughs> Should have been behind the wheel anyway. So I want y'all think I like, you know, drink driving and stuff. But life happens and people yeah. do certain things and make bad decisions. So we can't judge because we've all done been somewhere and done something. But yeah. All right. Well, to be honest, y'all, that's really everything. Child, I cannot believe we done sat here and did this for an hour and a half. And that hit video with 30 minutes. That's why right. we ain't going to be reacting to videos together, cuz. Because this is a mess. But we can damn. talk about these topics. We could have made this a damn eight-minute video got, each section. I just got fired on live. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We, me and you going to have our own thing. And when trash come on and quit bullshitting, we all have our own thing. I hope he ain't calling me saying he outside. Damn. Oh, he was coming to your house? That's what he said. I'm about to pull up. Oh, I thought he meant pull up to the stream. Oh. I thought he said. No, he said I'm finna pull up, cuz. He did say I'm gonna pull up, cuz. All right, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.